All right, Ryan Clark in here, and I'm gonna be sharing with you on this video how to overcome the fear of judgment, how to stop giving a flying fuck what people think about you, not in a way of like, I don't care what you think about me, but in the way of like really owning your true authentic self, really owning who you really are and not reacting and choosing to be someone else around other people and feeling the need to constantly gain approval, but to be confident truly in who you are. Now, I remember a time in my life where I was um, extremely needy of other people's approval and um, that came from a deep sense of insecurity. I remember it really being at its highest when I was in um, middle school, probably or actually early high school. And I would constantly base who I was based on what other people thought about me and I gave my power away to other people. And after doing a lot of transformational work and um, learning from some really powerful, uh, supportive mentors, I have been able to overcome this and a lot of people say that I'm one of the most confident people that they know. Um, and I want to share these tools with you, these three steps with you that you can use to step into your confidence and your power and really not give a fuck what people think about you. Um, because if we live life based on what other people think about us, we're not really living for ourselves, we're living for them. So step one, okay? Um, the, step, the first step to overcoming the fear of judgment is doing just what I said, which is not giving your power away to other people, not basing who you are off of other people's opinions and judgments of you and not feeling like you need to gain the approval of the people around you. And, you know, Ryan, that sounds harder than, that, that is harder than it sounds. Yes, it absolutely takes practice. It takes practice, it takes practice, it takes practice, it takes training, it takes training, it's, it takes training. And that's, you know, how it worked for me. But when you really own who you are, which is going into step two, and accept yourself fully, accepting who you are, every single part of your being, the parts of you that you might be insecure about, understanding that those are perfect, that there's no such thing as imperfection, that the beauty of life, the beauty of you is that you are not perfect in your nature. Perfect is an image that we compare ourselves to. So destroy that image, let go of that image. You know, there's no, never gonna be another version of you ever created again. So really own the gift that you are. And in doing that, your self-worth goes up automatically and you don't have to rely on any other people for you to know that you're worth it, for you to know that um, you are valued because you value yourself. And step number three, uh, the fear of judgment is, it's kind of, it's, it's healthy to have a little bit of fear. Um, that means that you're growing. So feel the fear when it comes up. And I like to interpret fear as growth potential and feel the fear and move through it anyway. And I love to wear fear as a badge of honor. So when I feel that fear, I'm like, yeah, most people are comfortable, they're, they're lazy, they're laying on their couch right now and I feel this fear and I'm going to move through it. So feel the fear and move through it. And the more you do that, the less powerful that fear will become over you and that fear just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller to the point where it you totally forget about it and owning who you are and accepting yourself and loving yourself and being confident and courageous becomes your new norm. If this empowered you, if this inspired you, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Remember, it all starts with the mind and you'll be upgrading your mind with each and every video I release. So make sure to catch them all like a Pokemon. I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video.